Like, don't give me anything out of Chadwick would nail that. Even if Deathstroke hadn't taken his helmet off at the end of that shot. Yeah, you still could have got away could be with it, yeah. You know? Um, but no, I think they'll have to create something new. Well, not new, like they'll take something established, but a new character for the movies. Who would you like to see him play? I don't know. I Honestly, and you know, again, I know I complained about Idris Elba for Bond. I complained about it for the Dark Tower and everything else. I love Idris Elba. Love Idris Elba. I could see him as any character. Clock King. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'd be a badass Clock King. Yeah. Maybe he was rumored for the Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. I it, want Idris Elba as the Doctor. It couldn't be the Doctor, though. Just swings Daleks around by the ice dog. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like you know, there'd be no threat. Yeah. So I remember Mark up to him, he'd just be booting them, like, yeah. you know. Tell them Earth is protected. It, All right. Okay. Yeah, he'd be kicking them down like bowling pins. Hmm. But, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know. But I can't say, I, I, I refuse to believe that this is true. Um, the Wachowskis, I nearly said the Wachowski brothers. The Wachowskis are working, apparently, on a new Matrix. A new, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, fair credit. I loved the first one. I know. After that. Isn't the Matrix like the Predator movies and the Aliens movies where you're like, oh my God, and then you're like, but the only one of them was really good. Yeah, exactly. You know, Predator was really good. Predator was okay. Everything else was kind of shit. Yeah. Do you know, but you're like, oh my God, this is a Predator movie. And I think, I think the Matrix is kind of like, a, having said that, I actually do like the second two Matrix, but they're far inferior to the first one. No, very much so. They, they, they actually give me a headache to sit down and watch. Yeah. And I'm, I'm right, I know you probably get this because you're a head job like myself, but do you, do you whenever you're a completist? Yeah. And like, say there's there's a movie series out and like it's got the full box set and all out, and you need that. Yeah. You have to get that. The Matrix is one of the few exceptions where I've had to go and just buy the Matrix on Blu ray. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't have two and three. I bought my, well, my wife bought me the, remember the set that came out with the. the the, like the bust of Neo and stuff like oh that. yes yes it has yes. like 20 discs mm. not that. no like in all fairness like I I had a little bit of a Matrix obsession back in the day yeah totally like, everybody like, did like I, yeah. I like I love the the style of it uh, I love the characters the costumes any the movie props. can come out and take the, the light <clears throat> and, or the, the, the glory away from Star Wars you know what I mean oh absolutely and uh, like like I remember when Revolutions came out I, I did feel quite sad yeah. That it was over, but also that it didn't really live up to it. But after that, I just kind of let, let sequels go by the wayside. And for me, it's just The Matrix. The Matrix it's yeah. just the first one, because I think it's it's such a perfect self-contained story. Yeah, where we go from there, is the choice I leave up to you. Yes. Yeah, no, I know I agree. I do agree. I do like the second two. But even the uh, my, my son wanted to really watch really wanted to watch The Matrix, and as I said, he's not he's nowhere near 15 yet, but I there's a couple of 15s movies I haven't watched with him. Yeah. And The Matrix was one. I sat down and watched it. And he loved it. And about 20 minutes into the second one, he's like, nah. Yeah. Nah. And I was like, yeah, no, I, don't, I totally understand that. Um, Charlie Theron's Cypher is rumoured to be getting her own Fast and Furious spin-off. Hell yes. Good. Loved her in that movie. Br- bring really it on. Good. Although, in all fairness, <coughs> Mad Max spin-off. <coughs> like, yeah. we need a Furiosa movie. We do need a Furiosa movie. Because I know that's something that George Miller was talking about like crazy uh, yeah. around the time Fury Road came I, out. I still think we'll get that, though, because Miller, that still, is still really, you know, up there to be happy to happen. Did you hear, uh, I'm not sure if this is real, but this is one of my favourite quotes from George Miller, where he said, if you were to put a gun to my head and say, come up with a story for Happy Feet 3... I'd say pull the trigger. Yeah, saying that, <laughs> saying that, brilliant. Um, but yeah, so Charlie Theron, she's a badass. I funny I watched um, uh, Devil's Advocate. Yes, that's I right. I haven't yeah. watched it in years, but I watched it uh, last week. Uh, I really like it. Still really like it. It's, it's terrible, and uh, Al Pacino just eats all the scenery. Oh yeah, this is this is Al Pacino just after he crossed the border. He's an absentee <laughs> landlord. Yeah, but wow, wow, yeah, so good though. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it's still so good. But Charlie Theron, absolutely love her, but watched in this in a heartbeat. Um, speaking of Fast and Furious, uh, Michelle Rodriguez yes. has confirmed she's coming back for the new one, Fast and Furious 9. It's Fast 9? No, it's... 8? No, it's no, nine. no, it's, it's 9. nine. Yeah. It's 9, yeah. Because uh, Hobbs and Shaw is the spin-off. She's confirmed she's coming back as long as uh, it's written by a woman. Why does that I matter? I don't know. Because apparently there hasn't been enough representation and diversity in the movie so far, and she's all about women now. Okay, okay, well, you know, in all fairness, it's, it's what I've said from the start. Don't matter what's between your legs, 
It's how creative you are when it comes to writing a script. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, even my wife was like, what? Because I was like, you know, every bikini wearing girl in the Fast and Furious, there's a topless guy. Yeah. Well, what does it matter? It's all about objectification and how cool everybody is. And there's no ugly people well, in the Fast and Furious. It, it's, it's not our world. I mean, it's yeah. as simple as that. It's this basically is, the Avengers, let's be honest. Yeah, well, no, it's, it's even worse than that. Because, like, this is a universe where physics just do not exist. Yeah. And it's all the crazier for it. Yeah, and it's brilliant. It, it you is. don't question movies like that. Uh, what we do in the shadows renewed for a second season. I haven't even seen series one yet. Is it out yet? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it's about halfway through. I think. Have you ever watched the movie? Yes. Can I tell you? Right, I have tried started the movie about ten times and I cannot get into it. Persevere. I I have tried. I think you have to be in a certain mood for it. I've tried. There's been it's, certain times where like I really want to watch this and I just can't get into it. It can come off as feeling a bit obnoxious. Yeah. But. Par, par through it. Par through it. Yeah. I always get to the point, you know where they meet like, the other vampires on the street? Yeah, yeah. I always get to there, and I'm like, no, I can't, I can't deal. I can't deal with this. I do understand why people would like it. I'm not saying it's not good. It just has... Well, perhaps that maybe shows you why it's such a good idea to make it as a TV show. Yeah. Because it's not forcing this concept down your throat for longer than half an hour. Possibly. Mel Gibson's going to play Santa Claus. Love the idea of this. Apparently Santa Claus um, sent coal to a bad, to a bold kid. And the kid gets, I think, the mafia to go after Santa. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> That's not the love. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, that is so good. It near killed me. Jesus Christ. Um, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the night the reindeer died. That's, that is the night the reindeer, yeah. You've been I, a real good boy. I have been waiting since, what, 1988 Scrooge came out? I have been waiting since 1988 for the night the reindeer died. Yeah. And Mel Gibson's going to make it a possibility. Damn right. I love Mel Gibson. Yeah. Hey, right. kiss. Absolutely, thank you. Um, rumours are abound that we're getting a Marvel Thunderbolts movie. I don't care. You don't care? I would yeah. watch a Thunderbolts movie. Well, that's the one where it's like uh, Red Hulk and everything. Yeah, and isn't they, it? they basically bring all the bad guys together and they're trying to redeem themselves. Yeah, again, as I've said, after watching Endgame, I just I, I can't get excited for Marvel movies anymore. Do you know I still haven't forgiven the MCU for killing Jeff Bridges in Iron Man? Yeah. And for how abysmally they treated Sam Rockwell. Seven years Hulk. ago, Mark. Like can't, can't, can't be fast can't like uh, but if they find a way to bring back Obadiah Stane and then bring back Sam Rockwell I would watch Sam Rockwell doing anything well like Rock, well, fair enough uh-huh. uh, well Rockwell's in jail at the minute yeah. his character not him yeah not actually Sam Rockwell uh, well, Obadiah Stane is is officially D.E.D. Deed he's Deed Deed I know but fucking brutal um, Bill Murray said yes he will do Ghostbusters yeah, paycheck. Yeah, paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, "Why could he not say that with Sam Ra- or when uh, Harry Ramos was still there?" Uh, because they still had their bad blood. Ah, oh, brutal. brutal. Uh, it, it's a shame. Although like, tying in, and I'm sure we're going to be talking about this as well. The uh, the ten year anniversary of the Ghostbusters video game. Yeah, it's getting yeah. a remaster. It's getting a remaster. Yes, happy days. Because you know, I've been trying to get it. I really want to play it again, and I have PlayStation Four. I don't have my old PS2 yeah. anymore. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's so worked out perfectly. I'm for excited you. for this. I think it's October or something that's coming out. Has there? I don't. Know, has there been? I knew that there was talking about. Has there been I've been keeping up with it, bits and pieces and news here and there. Apparently, October is looking to be the estimated uh, okay. release date. So, it'll, like, I think it came out July of 2009. Okay. Like it came out over the summer months 2009. Yeah, because remember it came out and the real Ghostbusters got its release and Ghostbusters on Blu-ray. They all came out. Yeah, around about the same, the same few weeks. Do you remember? And it's super rare. I have it, and I think it's. Buried out in the collection room somewhere. Do you remember they released Ghostbusters the video game and the Blu-ray in the same pack? No. Yeah. Okay. I have that. It's really, really rare. I didn't, didn't even know it existed, I don't think. Yeah, I, I, I never knew it existed either until I was walking past the shelves and I think it was Entertainment Exchange one day. Right. I just happened to spy it and it was like, that looks like the Ghostbusters video game, but yeah. it's blue packaging instead of green. Okay. And I picked it up and it was like, includes Ghostbusters on Blu-ray. And I was like... I've bought them both separately in the past, but they're together at last. Together at last. I must buy. It was only like four pound anyway. So, uh, speaking of Ghostbusters, um, Elmer Bernstein's uh, iconic soundtrack is getting re-released this year. Is it again another limited run that hardly any fans will get to pick I up? I don't believe so. It's coming that's out gonna in be vinyl. Wide it's coming out in CD and it's coming out in digital. Ah, oh, imagine how good that's going to hear on vinyl. On vinyl. So I have already pre-ordered my vinyl from the states because uh, I really want vinyl. I already have it in CD from before yeah. but I paid like a hundred pounds for the CD and I've never opened it Oof. and my wife do my wife said to me how do you know what's in there and I was like what she's like how oh do you know God. what's in there it's Schrodinger's CD it's Schrodinger's CD <laughs> 
He's like, why? And she's like, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mess your head. And I'm like, why would you say that? Yeah. But it is in there, I know it is. Uh, un- unless it's not. I paid £100 for another CD box. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to buy the CD. Imagine, imagine if you opened that. Finally, one day you cracked, you gave yeah. in, you pulled back the cellophane, opened it up, and it's just a faded note there that says soccer. Soccer, got you. <laughs> How long did this take, too? Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so it's getting already. So I'm going to get. I've ordered pre-ordered the vinyl, and I will pick up the CD as well to have in the car. But it's such a great. It's I don't. It's I don't understand why it's been such a limited run before on that CD on that soundtrack. Yeah, because it's so good. Well, see, here, here's the thing as well. Release the Ghostbusters two soundtrack. That's another thing. Release the Ghostbusters yeah. two soundtrack. I, I think we're going to get the Ghostbusters two soundtrack. I think we're going to get a lot of things before this year is over. To be yeah, honest, yeah, it's just it's going to be so. There's so much good uh, Ghostbusters news coming out this year. It's like, do, do you remember uh, in uh, 2014 when everyone was like, "It's the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters. What do we get? Oh, uh, all all chance of Ghostbusters three is cancelled. We're going to reboot it." Yeah. F you fans. Yeah, we see all this. And that was basically this year, yeah. like, no, we're not doing that again. Yeah, so they're like, okay, well, it's the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters, 30th year anniversary of Ghostbusters 2. Roll out the magic carpet, lads. Yeah. We're going to have a wild time. Exactly. What have you not had before? Let's give them stuff that they've wanted yeah. for years. Like proper fan fests and everything. And uh, like, as you were saying, like the uh, the score releases. Like even the Playmobil Electro 1A. Yeah. Brilliant. Stop talking about it. That's great. I'll let you have a wee play with it after the show. Oh, I. And if you're lucky, then oh, I'll oh, give you that oh, one. Oh. <laughs> uh, we got our first look at Ben Mendelsohn and Jason Bateman in Stephen King's The Outsider TV show. Uh, how do they look? Uh, they look very good. The Outsider is pretty cool. Pretty cool story. Pretty cool. But in typical Stephen King story, the last 20 pages, the wheels completely come off. Typical, yeah. But up until that point, it's an absolute nail biter. In all fairness, I may watch this because I'm a big Ben Mendelsohn fan. Oh, yeah, so am I. And I'm a big Jason Bateman fan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, absolutely. T- Teen Wolf two, Jason Bateman fan or um, no horrible bosses. <laughs> horrible Jason bosses. Yeah. Jason Bateman. yeah. And uh, the thing is, I watched Dodgeball not too long ago, and I forgot he was the announcer with yeah. um, uh, Gary Cole. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Were the right. announcers. He was like the guy with the crazy hair. He was absolutely on his face. Uh, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> uh, so yeah, big big Bateman's fan. Um, I love how I went far back as Teen Wolf two there. Uh, yeah. Have you ever seen Teen Wolf 2? No. Horrendous movie. No doubt, because the Horrendous. first one's a struggle. Like, the first oh, one. the first one is ridiculous, yeah. but Michael J. Fox saves it. Do you know what Teen Wolf 2 is? What? It's the same as Teen Wolf. And do you remember in the first Teen Wolf movie, the sport that he was super in- interested in? Uh, yeah. It was basketball. Yeah. It's the exact same movie. They oh, replaced don't... basketball right. with boxing. Brilliant. Brilliant. Up all night thinking about that one. Awful. Unreal. Truly awful. And it's Bateman the Teen Wolf. Bateman's the Teen Wolf. I knew he was in it. I didn't know he was but he, star. But he's not playing Michael J. Fox's character. He's playing his cousin, who has werewolfism as well. Of course. Of course. Do you remember the... 1980s logic. Speaking of werewolves, do you remember the, the remember Oz and Buffy had, was, was a werewolf? That's right, yes. Do you remember the scene where you found out how he got it and he rang his uncle? Yeah, it's like his and cousin like, was a werewolf. He's like, ah. And he's like, huh. Been, been a werewolf. He's a werewolf. Huh. How long has that been going How on for? That, yeah, and I just always loved that. Yeah. Always look because that to me was just perfect characterization for us. Just like, oh, okay, <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a werewolf now. The Orville yeah. season three. Yes, it's happening. Yes, yes, it is. yes, it is. It's about goddamn time. Damn right. I was getting worried there. Uh, we got our first look at Patrick Stewart as Jean-Luc Picard. Yes, we did. In Star Wars Picard, looking an awful lot like how Patrick Stewart does these days. Yes, old. Yeah, broken. Broken. Miserable. Yeah. We'll, we'll say yes to anything. Hearing that Star Trek Discovery could be in serious trouble for season three. Well, you'd like to hope. It has been renewed, but because Netflix never has dropped them, there's no funding. So, par- or CBS is CBS. Uh, they might have to fund it themselves. Oh my God, that's been their plan all along, hasn't it? <laughs> like, they keep saying Star Trek Discovery. No, 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 go with me on this. They keep saying that Star Trek Discovery is the prequel series to Star Trek. Yeah. But, like, it's got all these amazing super gadgets and everything. Imagine the budget runs out to the point where they have cardboard sets like the 60s. Yeah. And it'll just tie in That's visually and perfectly, thematically all. Perfectly. Brilliant. Yeah, so Star Trek. They were secretly geniuses this whole time. Um, but from what I'm hearing, the franchise is really putting all its its hope in, in Picard. I would say so, because he's a well-established character. Everyone loves him. Yeah. Everyone, like... There are debates raging across the nerdosphere to this very day. Kirk or Picard? Well, for me, it was always Jean-Luc. Like. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, to have him come back for his own full series, and even did the thing with the logo where the A of Picard is the it's little the, Starfleet arrow. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see this. 
I can see the, the viewing numbers for it being incredibly high.